Hello everybody and welcome back to Solaris. We are at war with the Mythfell Obliterators and look at our fleet. Um, this is our new and improved fleet and it hasn't really gotten the chance to see much action yet. We're hoping to meet the Mythfell Obliterators in battle, but um, their forces may be tied up elsewhere because the Mythfell Obliterators are fighting a second war to their east with the Molinarch Centralized Commonalities. Um, so it may be a little while yet before we meet their fleet in open combat. For the time being, we are going to continue pushing into their territory um, and hopefully we can extend the state of Panaxala territory to encompass all of this southern bit of the Mythfell Obliterators and we can create a new state out of this northern bit of the Mythfell Obliterators. That's the goal anyhow. Um, before we unpause the game, let's just check all of our um, planets. Lavalcor, our tech world, needs a couple of extra jobs. Um, let's see here. We could probably add a research labs. And I would also like to have a hollow theaters and a psi core on every planet. So I'm going to replace two of our research labs with that. In addition, um, I think I'd like to specialize all of my planets a bit more. So I'm actually going to go ahead once I've built all of these buildings and I'm going to replace my two energy districts with agriculture districts. So this will be focused on agriculture um, in addition to science. Um, but we'll have some some worlds that are specializing on energy instead of um, agriculture. On this world, we really want to increase stability some more. So let's go ahead and build, I'd say let's build in maybe gene clinics to get some extra amenities and habitability on this world. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, I think that sorts us out for now. We have a bunch of planets with zero jobs. Maybe we build a couple more generator districts on Desadia. Maybe on Ultan we can build a couple more factories and uh, we can upgrade this civilian industries to improve our output. Um, on New Favaria we have three open jobs. I think we're gonna specialize this one on energy instead of agriculture so we're going to simultaneously replace all of these generator districts um uh, sorry replace all of these agriculture districts with generator districts um and there we go that's our four agriculture districts being turned into generator districts in addition to that i think it may be worth yeah, it may be worth building a hollow theaters. Let's see where that is. That's here. Um, and I think it may also be worth, um, we have Psycor building an energy grid here. So I know we've been replacing a lot of research labs, so our research output might take a bit of a hit right now, but that's okay. We'll build it up again in the future. Um, let's go ahead and sell off a bunch of consumer goods and use that to buy some more alloys in the meantime. Um, let's see, how is our mining world doing? We have 10 available jobs, so we don't need to do anything here. This world is looking great. Um, our agri world is looking pretty great, but we can replace this energy district with another agriculture district. Um, and let's check these ones. We're building an alloy mega forges here. We could probably get away with building a couple more industrial districts. Joy Tendir. Um, we have not a lot of housing, so let's build a couple more industrial districts. And finally, on Forfion, I would like to build another crystal mines, and I would like to actually build this new ancient refinery building. This is going to really improve our um, rare resource output on this planet, which is perfect. So let's go ahead and build an ancient refinery here as well. All right, and I think that is all of our worlds sorted out. Fantastic. Um, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's unpause the game.
Let's see where our star fleets are headed. This star fleet, of course, is headed to the Dargan system. I think we should push this uh, fleet all the way over to um, Vindim. I'm not going to pretend to know how to pronounce it. Vindimetrix? I don't know. I probably said that wrong. Um, but really, we want to um, get all this territory we can over here. Alright, looks like we've met a new pre-FTL in the Pudanus system. Let's go ahead and let's push down here and hopefully make establish a more easy connection um, with Hostile our front in the engaged. south. We can establish a kind of corridor here. That's the hope. Hostile station engaged. And then I want to push over east. All right. Looks like we have met another fallen empire, militant isolationists, the Vatna Khan remnant. Pitiful creatures, know that we roamed the stars for eons before your hapless species managed face, uh, space flight. If any of your wretched little ships crosses into our space, do not expect them to return. Wow. Well, be prepared to face us in battle eventually. We do not respect you at all. Um, let's see, we can get a bonus to hold points and damage for our star bases and defense platforms, or we can get defense army unity output. I don't think we're really on the defensive for our, our planets right now, so let's actually get this bonus to our star bases. Sure. Fantastic. All right. So I think after we take Iversine, we're going to go ahead and push into Lorgran. And if we can secure Lorgran and Fallingar, I think those will be two great Hostile kind of engaged. edge systems that we can fortify um, against, you know, future invaders. Research complete. All right, we have unlocked psionic armies. So next time we need to update our army, um, which will be a while because our army is actually a little far, far, far away from home. Um, but when we eventually do um, update our army, we can add uh, psionic telepaths in our army that are going to be more powerful. Let's see what we can uh, research next. We can get additional building slots. We can get more tile blockers. We can up our fleet command limit. And we can get all of this stuff that I've been avoiding because it's just not that good. I said we up our fleet command limit. Yes. Bigger and better fleets is always a good thing. Hostile station engaged. Fantastic. All right. Looks like we've just about taken this star system. Yeah, they haven't even destroyed a single one of our ships. 8, 11, 16, 30. Relay links forged. The galaxy presents one less hurdle to us today as our cooperative efforts with the Mythfell ob obliterators has reached a fruitful conclusion. Really? What cooperative effort? The last link in our adjoining Hyper Relay networks has been brought online, inviting both partners into a rapid transit across our shared border. Oh, because we conquered um, a Hyperlane system connected with the Mythfell Hyperlane system. It thinks we're cooperating with them. That's funny. Cooperation. Um, okay, so this is governing Droitundir. Let's see what we can... This is a master crafter, so I think we give the council a bonus for pop upkeep minus 5% and trade value plus 5%. That's great. All right. All right, so we're going to move this fleet out and onwards. All right, we're gonna conquer this system. We don't have the army to um, support ours to support us just yet in that endeavor, but um, we'll get there. In this system, we can probably move our army in though. Um, what is the defensive situation on Trast? They have zero, zero defenders. So let's go ahead. Let's actually move our army here. 
I don't know if we want to take it straight away. I mean, actually, I don't see any reason why not. I was kind of hoping that the State of Panic Sala would take it, though. You know what? I'm going to wait out and let the State of Panic Sala take it. My, my thinking is I'd rather have them take that territory so they can administer it right away instead of us taking control of it and then having to grant it away to them. Construction complete. All right, fantastic. How are we doing here? Looks like we're doing great. You know, we could probably take all this territory. I don't see the Molinarch centralized commonalities fleet anywhere. We could try to take this all for ourselves. Get a little bit greedy. Hopefully it doesn't bite us in the butt. How is the um, Leviathan defeated? Opelagic Star Empire? Where is the Opelagic Star Empire? The fact that I can't find them means that they're probably very, very far away. So, oh well. There was a... There was a Leviathan that we had no idea about, and it is now dead. It doesn't really affect us. Another thing I learned, um, somebody in the comments mentioned that this Chosen is actually um, a mid-game crisis. Um, they're fanatic purifiers, so they must be pretty powerful. I mean, I remember just a few episodes again, I think their territory was just like a little bit here, and now they have a foothold here somehow, and they've grown pretty significantly. Um, we might need to... Um, we might need to check them uh, with our fleets, moving our fleets down south, make sure they don't get too strong. Um, we'll definitely have to keep an eye on them. They look pretty, pretty darn powerful. All right. Let's see, where are the rest of our fleets? Hostile station engaged. Fantastic. Looks like the Mythfell Obliterators are sending a, an army. How powerful is this army? Army strength of 32? Yeah, they're going to have Hostile trouble doing anything with engaged. an army strength of 32. But it looks like they're going to try to conquer this system for us. That sounds great. We'll let them, we'll let them do that. So I think we might as well just eat up all this territory if we can. There's no reason why not. It's going to be kind of messy borders, for sure. A lot of um, systems to fortify. But that's not going to be our problem. We're going to make a vassal state out of this. And um, they can worry about fortifying all of those systems. We have a science ship sitting here doing nothing. We should probably just disband the science ship and assign this scientist as a governor somewhere. Do we have a tech world that needs a governor? That's not a tech world. That's not a tech world. New Favaria has a governor. This is a tech world. We could use the scientist bonus from a tech world here. All right. Fantastic. Construction complete. Construction complete. Breeding grounds. The Amor Alveo system gives off strongly hostile impression on first sight. None of its planets are remotely habitable, either scorched by the searing heat of the system's three suns or stripped of life by the powerful solar storms. However, there is one life form that appears to thrive in this environment, the space amoeba. Giving up their otherwise uh, fairly solitary lifestyle, they have been they have congregated in great numbers, filling uh, Let's see, flitting in and out between blisteringly hot inner systems and large gas giants further out on what appears to be an elaborate breeding ritual. It is unclear what could possibly have caused the amoebas to favor this inhospitable system. Regardless, they seem intent on protecting it, and they have already turned their flagella towards Iasis to RM2 in an overly threatening manner. Alright. Do. Looks like we don't have a choice. Looks like we've already engaged. I was just about to say, do we want to engage with the space amoebas here? I think we can take them. I think we might take a few casualties, but we can handle it. We can handle it for sure. Um, interesting. So we found the space amoeba home system. I think I've only encountered this once 
before in a playthrough. Looks pretty cool. Maybe there'll be a special project or something that we can research once we get there. Do we have a science ship? Okay, we have a science ship with a scientist. Let's um, let's start researching projects in all these systems. Let's get our scientist out, and uh, maybe there'll be something for us here once we defeat the space amoebas. All right. With this fleet, I think we move construction complete up to Busim at the very least, and then we can move over west again. Hostile station engaged. See some kind of notification. We're full up on food now. All right. Again, we can use that to go ahead and buy more um, alloys. This is governing Corim, which is an industrial world. Let's see. We can give make this guy live longer. Or we can get a counselor traits. This person's not on the council, so let's just let's just have this governor live longer. All right, how's our sign? How's our fleet doing? All right, we've taken a few a few Corvette casualties. That's all. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we've left, we've lost quite a few Corvettes, but I'm surprised we haven't lost anything else. Maybe the space amoeba are really only dangerous against um, Corvettes. All right, do we just like single-handedly wipe out the space amoeba? I don't know. Incoming transmission. Non-aggression pack with monarch centralized commonalities. Um, I'm not interested in a non-aggression pact, to be honest. Hostile station engaged. All right, how is our other fleet doing? We are doing just fine on every the front. Analyzed. Fantastic. Hostile station engaged. They're going to need more fleets here. Uh, it looks like this army actually has enough power to maybe actually do some damage on this planet. Strategic resource. We have learned of a new strategic resource encountered on V4XN K14 in the territories of the Favarian Republic. Click to go to re location. Living metal, huh? Interesting. You know, for all the time I've played this game, I've never found a use for living metal. Don't know what to do with it. Don't know what it's useful for. Hostile station engaged. All right. This war is going swimmingly. Right. I was going to check. They have a sizable army in the system now. Are they going to be able to take out this system? What is the defense? 907 garrison? Okay, they'll need to be bombarding that planet for a while. I don't think their fleet, their army is that big. Yeah, 512. Hostile fleet engaged. We are full up on minor artifacts. Perhaps, yes, we can spend a thousand minor artifacts to gain an Elgate insight. If we go to our situation logs, let's check this out. We have only one of seven insights. Okay, we should. Um, Hostile station engaged. We should be more careful about checking the cooldown time on that and buying it every time we can, because I. I think there would be a big advantage for us getting into the L gate, the L cluster first. All right, we should probably give this fleet a reinforce order. What is the defenses on this system like? Could we handle this with our army? Yeah, zero garrison. Was there another planet here? There was. Zero garrison on both of them. Okay, let's move our army in and let's conquer these two planets for ourselves. We're gonna land army here. And then after that, we're going to give a second order to land armies there. Fantastic. 
Yeah, I really wonder where the Mythfell fleet is. We have not even engaged them once in battle. Hostile station engaged. All right. What is going on in this system? Ah, it's occupied by the Molinarch centralized commonalities, but they haven't quite had the chance to invasion begun. invade the planet just yet. Debris analyzed. What's the defense? Oh my gosh, they have quite the garrison there. I don't think we're going to mess with that. We're just going to let them... They can have that planet, that system, if they want. Hostile station engaged. All right. Speaking of linking up hyperlane networks, our construction ship is here. I think it might be worth actually building a hyper relay in this system and this system as well. Um, that way, hopefully, we can link up a hyperlane network with um, the state of Panixala as well. Hostile station engaged. Debris analyzed. All right, we don't need to actually go into the Amandi system, so let's actually go into Fallingar. Yeah, let's let's take this path here. I'm gonna go up here, down, and then we can probably swing around. All right, we have the Governor of Lavalcor. We can probably upgrade them with Planet Governor effects. Yeah. Hostile station engaged. Fantastic. All right, let's give this a couple of move orders over Hostile here. Station engaged. There are not a lot of habitable planets in this region of the galaxy. Like, look at all these systems, there's one habitable planet in this whole region. Debris analyzed. Have we occupied this um, system yet? We have occupied Urtree. I think we need to occupy Kraut now. All right, let's move our army over. Hostile station engaged. Planetary invasion begun. All right, and now we have fully occupied the system. Fantastic news. Let's keep our army ready. Probably at the Iversine system. Engaged. Comet sighted. All right. 40 unity. That's such an insignificant amount of unity. At the beginning of the game, though, that was big. This person is governing... All right, this is our recent conquest governor. Let's level them up with... Planetary building and district upkeep reduction, sure. In fact, how is um, Ricky's Roost doing? Um, it could be better. I think we ought to build another building and hopefully get some more stability on that planet because I'd like to move that governor over to Lorgram when possible. Wow, the Mythfell Obliterators stood no chance. I really thought they were going to be a much more formidable foe seeing as how much of a territory they had controlled. All of this used to be Mythfell Obliterator territory. Um, but it seems like Molinarch Centralized Commonalities really weakened them for us. There was really no need to make our fleets as powerful as they were to do this war. We could have, we could have started this war, you know, a decade sooner. 
and we probably would have would have been just fine. All right. Fantastic. Tianki home system. Where's Tiana Vec? The last of the Tianki in Tiana Vec system has been exterminated by the Chosen. With their ancient breeding grounds scoured, the Tianki will no longer be able to reproduce for the first time in galactic history. Their path to eventual extinction seems unavoidable now. Oh my gosh. The Chosen did this? They must really be, um... Wow. We're gonna need to turn our attention towards these guys. I mean... They're like making whole species go extinct here. Hostile station engaged. Yeah, we know who to bring the fight to. Um, they'll be our eventual goal. What, uh, what about MSI? Oh, looks like MSI is under attack. Okay, I don't think MSI is going to be around much longer. Maybe that means a final end to the debt collectors. Research complete. Won't we be glad for that to happen? All right, we've got leveled up torpedoes. That's fantastic. What can we get next? We can get Citadel. We can get Battleship build cost and build speed. City District Housing plus one. Um, living Metal Mega Construction. Oh, maybe this is what it's for. It just increases our build speed for mega structures. That's not bad, but we don't have mega structures yet. I say we take the city district housing plus one. I saw a couple of our planets were low on housing. That'll help for sure. All right. How are they doing whittling down the defense on this planet? They brought it down to 903. Is it just me or did that go up over time and set it down? 3% devastation. They don't have a very big fleet that's doing any bombarding, so it's gonna be a slow process for them. We might go and help once all of our other fleets are done with their conquests. Um, this fleet probably needs to rest and repair, so let's go ahead and give them a repair order. Democratic ruler election, who's gonna win this? Not our Commissary General. Our Master Crafter is going to get bumped up to Commissary General. Alright, interesting. So That's this is... Our Master Crafter is currently governing... It's our Master Crafter who's governing this planet, right? No, that's our Tribune of Rights. Is this our Master Crafter? That's a scientist. That's a Research scientist. Complete. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Wherever there, there's an opening, we will go ahead and assign our Commissary General. This unlocks Edict, Ministry of Production. What does that do? Empire, no, Planet Limit of 1. It increases Metallurgist output and Artificer output. Wow, this would be good on our Forge World. For sure. So I'm, or we can get an extra gene modification point. This is a rare technology. I think we take this. Didn't we already get an extra gene modification point? We did. I think once we have two, we'll go ahead and see about modifying our species to be something a little more advantageous. All right, we are fully repaired. So let us continue our conquest. Once we do that, we can go here, here, and yeah. Let's see, how are we doing our time? We got about a little over 10 minutes left in the episode. I don't know if we're gonna be able to finish up this war this episode, but we will certainly be very close to finishing it up. We can increase our starbase capacity, um, reduce starbase upgrade cost. Yeah, let's do that. That's gonna be pretty good. Wow. Hostile station engaged. 
Looks like we can breach the shroud. We haven't done this in a while. It never ends up going well. But we should just continue, right? I think we've tried this last time. Why not we tried Reeks of Flesh Unbound? There is a presence here occupying the entire part of the shroud. We have met these spirits before, but this is something else. Something vastly more powerful. Something far more ancient. Alright, let's attempt to communicate it. This has a high probability of success. Alright, what did that do? I'm sorry, did that give us like an empire modifier or something? I do not know. Nothing that I see had no discernible effect. Alright, we can activate our relics. We don't really need to. We don't need to turn any worlds into Gaia worlds. We definitely don't need more minor artifacts. I think we're doing just fine. Alright, and there goes our Commissary General. We need a new Master Crafter. Let's put it this person. Yeah, they have good counselor traits. Um, let's check to make sure... Um, planets and sectors, okay. I don't know where that person was governing. We could probably put that governor onto an important world like Desadia. Though probably a better idea is going to be to put it on... Let's put this governor abroad right now. Yes. In fact, let's make a... Where is this? Is this the planet that they are governing? Yes, let's make this a sector capital. That way every planet in the sector can get a bonus. Hostile station engaged. What is the defense on this system? 341? We can probably handle that with our army. Oh, we can't move down there until we conquer Mirce. That's fine. All right, our commander has leveled up. We can get sublight speed, ship hyperlane, detection range, time spent missing in action. We get fleet command limit plus 35. You see, that's good, but it's just for this one fleet, and then once this general, once this commander dies, we're gonna have to downscale our fleet again. So I don't really like this trait that much. I say we take scout level three. Looks like we forgot to take the Concat system, so we'll go ahead and detour there first. Borders have been opened by the Leertian Compact. Interesting. They are neutral with us. Our long-range tracking systems have detected the first launch of artificial satellite from the surface of um, Pudanus 3. Where is that? Ah, it's this, this pre-FTL system. All right. They are entering the galactic stage. Welcome to the club. The Advanced Civilizations Club. The Mythfell Obliterators are back. This is their fleet that we've been hoping to engage? This pathetic little fleet? Alright. Let's, um... Let's attack them. Wow, they're not going to stand a chance. I mean, the state of panic all might get there first. Yeah. All right. So let's just um, let's move here. Let's move here. Let's move here. Hostile fleet engaged. Fantastic. All right. Could we settle status quo right now if we wanted to? No. We don't have enough war score just yet, but we're very close. Not that we're going to settle status quo. Not until we've conquered and absorbed all of this territory first. 
Hostile station engaged. All right, are they gonna take this planet anytime soon? Again, no. They are a long way away from taking that planet. We may need to go help them out with some some good bombarding. Hostile station. We can upgrade the planetary administration to a system capital complex. Sure, let's do it. We have an energy grid on this planet already. Hostile station engaged. All right, I say we build a couple more generator districts and uh, then we can finish off the planet with uh, research labs. Yeah, energy and food and minerals are all kind of low. But um, maybe we might make one of our new vassal states a prospectorium to deal with that issue. And then it won't be much of an issue anymore. Alright. Let's quickly conquer all of these systems. And then we can move this fleet down south to help, you know, bombard planet, conquer stuff and everything. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile station engaged. Alright. How are our planets here doing? Plenty of jobs and um, housing, but these aren't really great things to be here. I'd rather have them be something that's going to increase stability and happiness and habitability. So let's go for an Atikman monument and um, a gene clinics. This is going to increase happiness and it's going to increase Governing ethics attraction. We can probably make this into an industrial world for them. Build a few districts there. Just so when we release this as a vassal, they're not totally economically in ruin. Our Lord High Admiral needs replacing. One of our Starfleets doesn't have an Admiral anymore? Wow, okay. This Starfleet, huh? Well, let's hire on a new Admiral. Let's see what our options are. We can get a 33-year-old. Ooh, that's good. Daily hull regen and armor regen. But this is orbital bombardment damage. You know, that's actually not that bad. It's as bad as a governor, but we're probably not going to use him as a governor. Yeah, let's take this guy. All right, and we can get a second. We can increase the armor and hull regen. We could give this guy unyielding. And we can give him the admiral focus. Yes. All right. So it looks like they've already taken this planet, so let's just continue on around this way. Hostile station engaged. Fantastic. How is bombarding going here? I'm gonna keep checking on them like every two minutes. Six percent devastation, eight hundred and ninety-six army. Complete. Okay. We're definitely going to need to go help them bombard that planet. Hostile That's fine. Engaged. We can get level 2 auto cannons. You know, with how much we're using auto cannons in our fleets right now, that's actually probably a pretty good option for us. Yeah, I said we take that. Let's get level 2 auto cannons. I was tempted by the level 4 missiles as well, but we've become a lot less reliant on missiles at this point in our fleet design. We're using more of the um swarmer missiles than we are of uh, regular missiles. This is a science ship. Let's give this person a governor trait and let's see if we can assign this person as a governor on literally any world will do. Let's see. Yeah, let's just assign him here. 
Might as well increase the stability and happiness Hostile a little bit. Hey, how do we get up to 80% stability? That's incredible to me. When did that happen? Wow. Well, good for them. We're full up on consumer goods again? Wow. This is a good problem to have. We have too many resources. We can't store them all. Hostile station engaged. Alright, let's go ahead. Let's see, what is their defense armies? 1,024. Okay, once we conquer all this territory, at least occupy all their planet systems. Yeah, let's start bombarding. We're going to need to get to work with bombarding. So, let's look in this planet. Uh, this system, I mean. What is Nest? 910. Okay, let's just start bombarding Nest. We'll go ahead and move our transport army over into this system. You know what? Let's start. Um, let's start with the planets close to the borders first. So let's start with this this planet, 1,024. Okay, we will get there. Hostile station engaged. Our governor needs a level up. Let's go ahead and give industrialist increase output. Sure. We might be able to take on the Oban Wildlings as well eventually. We're probably close to being able to handle them. I wouldn't say just yet. I don't want to ruin our fleet while we're in the middle of a war. I think we should unlock the Energy Nexus or Phase Disruptors. I think we should unlock the Energy Nexus because energy is going to start becoming a problem if we're not careful about it. Alright, looks like we've lost a couple Corvettes, so we're gonna go ahead and reinforce fleets. Um, this is probably an okay place to end the episode as well. Um, the war is going fantastically well. Hostile fleet engaged. Yeah, everything about this is going well. We'll probably wrap this up in the first, I'd say, 10 or 20 minutes of the next episode. Um, we'll be able to grow the state of Panixala to include all of these territories. And... Hopefully, we will also be able to um, form a new state at our um, northern border. Once that happens, we will no longer share any borders with enemies. We will have kind of buffer states in between us and all potential enemies. Yeah, and then I think we'll turn our attention down south, grow the Sandrine United Planet states a little bit, and maybe um, then uh, stand up to the Chosen. I think we've got a great plan for us coming up. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.